Arta Spilka defeats Tomas Adamek on a 10 round UD. Spilka, if you haven't seen him before, is a southpaw. He was slightly taller than Adamek. Has much longer arms than Adamek and he used that extra reach to his advantage in this fight. He's quite a slick fighter. Uh, those of you who have seen him will remember that he lost his first fight to Brian Jennings. He got stopped late in that fight. But here against Adamek, he, like I say, was using his reach very well. He was quite slick, controlling the distance. And especially in the first three or four rounds, he was catching Adamek coming in with a little check right hook. Adamek, not that much shorter, but certainly much shorter arms. And he's seen better days. Adamek was trying to time that straight right hand, which is the thing to do against the southpaw. But he was having trouble. It was only, I think, in the fifth round, I believe, that Adamek started having some success with that straight right hand. He was able to just edge his way forward, get into range, and then land the straight right hand down the pipe. And he had success in the fifth round. I think I gave that round to Adamek. But for the most part, it was Spilka's slick uh, boxing from range, using his reach. Uh, moving around the ring. Adamek was coming forward for most of the fight. It, it's, actually, a lot of the fight was fought in center ring, but uh, there was never a time that I can remember where Spilka really pushed Adamek back. Maybe once or twice, but for the most part, it was Adamek pushing Spilka back uh, when they weren't in center ring. But yeah, it was a, a decent performance by Spilka. Adamek has definitely seen better days, but Spilka did what he needed to do. It was a big fight, obviously, in Poland, two Polish fighters. And I guess he's the premier uh, Polish fighter right now. Maybe it is a fight for him with Marius Vak. I know Vak is coming back at the moment. So it is a, there's a few other Polish fighters, heavyweights on the scene. So let's see where Artur Spil can go from here. He's bounced back pretty well. It was a decent performance. He's not going to be the most exciting guy in the heavyweight division. He's more of a slick star than he is a puncher. He has a decent right hand, but... He, he likes to stay on the back foot and counter for the most part. That's the kind of fighter he is. But he's, he's an interesting addition and we'll see what he can do going forward. He's certainly young enough to come again and recover from that defeat to Bryant Jennings. So drop your comments below. Let me know what you felt about this performance from Arthur Spilka. Who would you like to see him in with next? Is there any big, uh, you know, other big Polish fights he can go in there and, and have? So yeah, just let me know how you feel about this fight and both of these fighters going forward. Do you think Adam X should retire now? Uh, let me know. This is Hatman. I'm out.